All right, in this video, we're going to go over how to construct the uh, location of the square root of 2 and square root of 3 using uh, GeoGebra. So what you want to do is go to the uh, GeoGebra.org website, and you're going to click on the uh, Geometry Calculator. So under the po possible apps, you want to click on Geometry. And the first thing we're going to do is define what our unit value is. So once uh, this loads up, you're going to uh, go to the input bar over here on the side, and define what your unit value is. So I'm just going to put down uh, 0 and 0 and then 1 0. So that's going to be my unit of 1. I want to draw a line passing through these two points. So I'm going to type out line and then put down the start point which is A comma B for the end point and there's my unit of uh, 1. I'm going to kind of wheel to kind of uh, zoom in a little bit I next want to draw a circle with the radius of 1 centered at B. That way it's going to give me my hypotenuse or my, my side length and then I can construct the, uh, the hypotenuse. So I want to draw basically the radius of 1 which will allow me to draw and construct the uh, vertical side of the triangle. I do that by going to the tools menu and then I select circle with center and I start my circle at point B and I click and then I go over to point A and then I click on that so now it locks in a circle with a radius of 1. I want this line to be perpendicular at point B to this line over here so I'm going to have to click on the more menu and then this option under construct is perpendicular line click on that I have to then I'll select the line for the slope, so I'm going to click on this line and then hover over to the point B, click on the point B, and now this is my perpendicular line. I'm interested in this intersection point between the circle and the perpendicular line, so I go over to point, I click on the intersection point, and notice that I didn't get the right intersection point. I was pretty close, but I didn't get the right intersection point. So this happens sometimes where you get a, a big circle and it's not the true intersection point. So I can just click on this point, brings up the menu, and I can just delete it. And I'll try and I'll try it again. So I hit point, and then when I have the true intersection point, it's a much smaller circle. And notice that if I go to the move arrow. I can't move this. Even if I try to click and drag it, it's locked in. It's like the true intersection point. Okay. Next, I want to draw a line passing through these two points. So I'm going to go over to my segment tool and construct this line segment. And this now gives me the right triangle I was looking for. So basically what I've done is I constructed this base. I've constructed this height and then this hypotenuse. And now I want to draw a circle centered at zero that has this radius that will give me the location of square root of 2. So I'm going to go back to my circle with center, center my circle here at A, extend the circle to point C, and then this intersection point right over here, that's the location of square root of 2. So I go back to point, and then I go to the intersection point again. When you're looking for a true intersection, it's going to be a small circle. And there it is, there's point D. So that's my location of square root of 2. I can click on it and I can change it to a different color. And I can also maybe uh, change the label of it if I would like to. Now, this sketch is going to get kind of busy if I leave everything the way it is. So I'm going to go back to my menu over here and then start deselecting things I no longer need. So. I don't need this circle anymore, so I'm going to deselect that. And I don't really also need this circle either, so I'm going to deselect this other uh, circle. And now what I want to do now is create a, uh, to construct the location of square root of 3, I need to build off of the location of square root of 2. So I want to build a circle with a height of 1 to give me the location of square root of uh, 3. And so I can stay in this menu and then go to the uh, next available input bar and I can start typing out the word circle. 
and parentheses. I want it to be centered at point D, and I want it to have a radius of 1. And I hit enter, and there's my circle of radius 1 centered at point D. I want a line that's perpendicular to this line, so I go back over here to the uh, geometry tools. I select perpendicular line. I set the slope of this line. I want it to pass through point D. And then again, I'm looking for this intersection point. And now I'm looking to construct from point A, which is the origin, 0, 0, this hypotenuse. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to construct the segment from here all the way over there. And now basically what I've done is create this triangle right over here. Centered, started at a square root of 2. This is the hypotenuse. This is the radius I want to use to be able to find the location of square root of 3. So I then go back to a circle with center. I center it at point A. The circle is going to extend to point E. And this over here is the location of square root of 3. And I find the intersection point. And then I can again go back to the uh, move around tool. I select the point. I can make it a different color. I can also maybe make it a little bit bigger if you'd like. Go back to this one and also change the size of it. So now point D would be square root of 2. Point F would be the square root of 3. I can deselect things that I no longer need. So I no longer need maybe this circle or this circle anymore. So I can select deselect those ones. And then from there, you can just build off of these ones to find additional points.